Hello there, young explorers. Welcome to another exciting adventure with fun animals for kids. Today, we're going to discover one of nature's most magical creatures, the firefly. These fascinating insects light up our summer nights with their beautiful glow. So, sit back and get ready to learn all about fireflies for kids. Fireflies are not actually flies at all. They are beetles that belong to the family Lampyridae. There are over 2,000 different species of fireflies around the world. Each firefly has its own special way of lighting up the night. When the sun sets and darkness falls, fireflies begin their enchanting light show. Imagine walking through a forest at night and seeing hundreds of tiny lights floating in the air. That's the work of fireflies. These amazing insects create one of nature's most spectacular light displays. Fireflies live in many different habitats. You can find fireflies in forests, fields, marshes, and even in your own backyard. They especially love warm, humid areas with tall grass and trees. In North America, fireflies are most common in the eastern states where summers are hot and humid. Let's take a closer look at the firefly's body. A firefly has a special organ in its abdomen called a lantern. This is where the magic happens. Inside this lantern, there are two important chemicals called luciferin and luciferase. When these chemicals mix with oxygen, they create the firefly's famous glow. The light that fireflies produce is called bioluminescence. It's a cold light, which means it doesn't produce heat like the light from a lamp or flashlight. Fireflies can control when they light up by controlling the amount of oxygen that reaches their lantern. Young explorers, did you know that firefly larvae glow too? That's right, baby fireflies called larvae also have the ability to produce light. They live in the soil and eat small insects, worms, and snails. These glowing larvae are sometimes called glowworms. The life of a firefly begins as a tiny egg. Female fireflies lay their eggs in moist soil or in rotting wood. After about three weeks, the eggs hatch into larvae. Firefly larvae look nothing like adult fireflies. They are long and flat with small legs and a big appetite. Firefly larvae spend their time hunting for food. They are carnivores, which means they eat other animals. Their favorite meals include snails, worms, and other small insects. Firefly larvae have special jaws that inject poison into their prey, making it easier for them to eat. After spending about two years as larvae, fireflies enter the pupil stage. During this time, they undergo a complete transformation inside a protective case. When they emerge, they are fully grown fireflies with wings and light organs ready to shine. Adult fireflies live for only a few weeks. During this short time, their main goal is to find a mate and reproduce. Male fireflies fly around flashing their lights in specific patterns to attract females. Each species of firefly has its own unique flash pattern, like a secret code that only other fireflies of the same species can understand. Speaking of flash patterns, let's talk about how fireflies communicate. Fireflies use their flashing lights to talk to each other. It's like they're sending messages in Morse code. The male firefly flies around flashing his light in a specific pattern. He's saying, hello there, I'm looking for a mate. Female fireflies wait on plants near the ground. When a female sees a male with the right flash pattern, she responds with her own flash. It's her way of saying, I'm over here. The male then flies down to meet her. Some female fireflies are very tricky. They can imitate the flash patterns of other species to lure males close to them. When the male arrives expecting to find a mate, the female firefly catches and eats him. Nature can be quite surprising. Fireflies have another fascinating survival skill. Their bodies contain chemicals that taste very bad to predators. Once a bird or a frog eats a firefly, they quickly learn not to eat another one. The firefly's glow also serves as a warning to predators saying, stay away, I taste terrible. Fireflies are found on every continent except Antarctica. In Japan, watching fireflies is a popular summer activity. People gather in parks and forests to see thousands of fireflies lighting up the night. The Japanese word for firefly is Hataru, and these insects appear in many Japanese poems and stories. In Southeast Asia, there are fireflies that synchronize their flashing. Imagine thousands of fireflies all lighting up at exactly the same time, then going dark, then lighting up again. It's like watching a natural light show created just for us to enjoy. In the United States, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park hosts a special firefly viewing event every year. Thousands of people come to see the synchronous fireflies that live there. It's one of the few places in North America where you can see fireflies flashing in unison. 
Humans have always been fascinated by fireflies. In many cultures fireflies represent hope, inspiration, and guidance. Their ability to create light in darkness makes them symbols of knowledge and wisdom. Scientists have studied fireflies for many years. They've learned how to use the chemicals from fireflies to detect diseases, study cancer, and even track the freshness of food. The same chemicals that make fireflies glow can help doctors see when certain cells are active in the human body. Unfortunately, firefly populations are declining in many parts of the world. Light pollution from cities makes it hard for fireflies to see each other's signals. Pesticides and habitat loss also threaten these magical insects. As young explorers who care about nature, we can help fireflies by turning off outdoor lights at night and creating firefly-friendly gardens with tall grasses and trees. Now let's learn some fun facts about fireflies for kids. Did you know that not all fireflies can glow? That's right! Some species of fireflies don't produce any light at all. They rely on pheromones, special smells, to find their mates. The firefly's light is the most efficient light in the world. Almost 100% of the energy used in the chemical reaction is converted to light. Compare that to a regular light bulb, which wastes a lot of energy as heat. Fireflies taste awful to predators because they contain a chemical called lucibufagins. This chemical makes them very bitter and can even be toxic to some animals. That's why most predators learn to avoid eating fireflies after trying them once. In some parts of Asia, children catch fireflies and put them in jars to make natural lanterns. However, fireflies don't live long in captivity, so it's better to enjoy watching them in their natural habitat and then letting them go. Fireflies play an important role in their ecosystems. As larvae, they help control populations of snails, slugs, and worms. Adult fireflies pollinate some plants as they feed on nectar and pollen. Fireflies are also indicator species. This means that their presence or absence can tell us about the health of an environment. If fireflies are disappearing from an area, it might be a sign that something is wrong with the habitat. By studying fireflies, scientists learn more about bioluminescence and how it works. This knowledge helps us develop new technologies and medical treatments. The Firefly's efficient light-producing system has inspired engineers to create more energy-efficient lighting. Let's imagine what a day is like for a firefly. During the daytime, fireflies rest on the ground or on plants. They're not very active when the sun is up. They hide in tall grasses or under leaves to stay safe from birds and other predators. As the sun begins to set, fireflies become more active. They climb up on blades of grass or fly into the air, ready to begin their nightly light show. Male fireflies fly around flashing their lights, hoping to attract females. Female fireflies are more selective. They watch the males fly by looking for just the right flash pattern. When a female sees a male she likes, she responds with her own flash. The male then flies down to meet her. After mating, the female firefly lays her eggs in moist soil or rotting wood. She carefully chooses spots where her babies will have plenty of food when they hatch then her job is done. The cycle of life continues as new fireflies are born and grow. Young explorers who watch educational videos on YouTube Kids know that protecting nature is important. Here are some ways we can help fireflies. 1. Reduce light pollution by turning off outdoor lights at night or using special covers that direct light downward. 2. Avoid using pesticides in your garden. These chemicals can harm fireflies and other beneficial insects. 3. Create firefly habitats by leaving some areas of your yard unmowed. Fireflies love tall grasses and natural areas. 4. Spread the word about fireflies. Tell your friends and family about these amazing insects and why they need our help. By taking these simple actions, we can ensure that future generations of children will be able to enjoy the magical sight of fireflies lighting up summer nights. Young explorers, today we've journeyed into the fascinating world of fireflies. We've discovered how these amazing insects create their magical light, how they communicate with each other, and how they live their lives. We've learned about firefly habitats around the world and the important role these insects play in nature. Fireflies remind us that even small creatures can create something beautiful and meaningful. Their gentle lights bring joy to people all over the world. By learning about fireflies, we gain a deeper appreciation for the wonders of nature. The knowledge you've gained today about fireflies is valuable for kids who are curious about the natural world. Understanding these insects helps us see how all living things are connected and why protecting nature is so important. 
but our animal adventures don't end here. There are so many more fascinating creatures waiting to be discovered. Join us next time on Fun Animals for Kids as we explore another amazing animal from our wonderful planet. If you enjoyed learning about fireflies, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Fun Animals for Kids. We bring educational videos about animals to curious minds just like yours. Tell your friends about our channel too so they can join in the fun learning with us. Remember young explorers, the more we learn about animals the better we can protect them and their habitats. Keep exploring, keep learning and keep loving the amazing wildlife that shares our world.